Hey, hey, Swifties, it's Rachel. I'm sorry this video is coming late on a Thursday. That's why it looks like the lighting is different in my room. Because the sunlight's not coming in. I just have, like, my lights on. Um, I was going to make a video yesterday. I just got really busy. Um, and today I was going to make a video, like, when I first got home from school. Then I had to help my dad set up the new printer and... Yeah, and if you see like that wall, I don't know if you guys can see it. You might, I might be talking to nothing right now about nothing, but I did. Ch <laughs> I changed my room around again. Um, you guys probably should have guessed that. I made like a Swifties memories wall, um, because I decided that I didn't want like all my concert stuff like way in the other corner. I like it like when I can first wake up and see it. Um, and then I put some, like, my favorite pictures, like, um, when Taylor sent me presents, and, um, I did leave two posters on that wall, like, the tour posters, but, um, and then when she liked my pictures, and, um, when she tweeted me, and, um, a picture of when she was shopping for me in London, and, um, things like that, um, but yeah, I'm really excited because now, um, the printer that we got prints really good photos, so... Like, I'm in love with this picture of Taylor and Ed. I need help. My dad took this at the Red Tour. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that. I like updating you on what I'm doing. Um, but today I'm going to be doing my favorite lyrics from 1989 because um, there are so many. Like, honestly, if I have one answer, it's the whole album. But um, I just thought I'd point some out. And describe why I like them. Um, and let's just get started so you guys don't X out of my video. Okay. The lights are so bright but they never blind me. From Welcome to New York, of course. Um, I like those lyrics because like she's been in the spotlight but I feel like it. she means like it won't knock her down. So that's why I like that. Um, I can read you like a magazine. Um, I just really... <laughs> I love that from Blank Space, because it just, like, every time it comes on, like, I pick up, like, if I have a magazine or a book laying out, I'm just like, I can read you, like, a magazine, and it's just really fun. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm weird. And then I'm about to be really basic, because everyone on my Instagram has had, this is the caption, because darling, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream, but actually, that's so accurate, because... Cause darling, I'm a nightmare just like a daydream. Like, you know, you have all these things going on in your life, and then you put on a good face for somebody, like, you know? Um, you know, for example, if you're having a bad day, and you maybe, you know, dress nice, and everybody thinks, oh, you know, they're having a good day because they dressed up. <coughs> no, that doesn't mean anything, you know what I'm saying? Like what they see on the outside. I love those lyrics so much. Um, it's probably one of my favorites. I know it's so basic. Okay, you've got that James Dean daydream look in your eye. I'm sorry, I was about to sing like the whole song here. Um, I really like that because Taylor took it like to comparing an icon. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't just like, oh my god, you have great green eyes, like, you look like that guy, you know, that shows up in movies or whatever. She used a specific person, and I absolutely love that feature. That's why it stood out to me. And, um, and I should just tell you to leave because I know exactly where it leads, but I watch us go round and round each time. I chose those lyrics because, um, honestly, that's so relatable. Um, you know, the, you have those relationships that never go out of style. So, yeah. Um, and then I have, the rest of the world is black and white, but we were in screaming color. I think those are some of her best lyrics that she's ever written because, um, like, if you think about it, um, you know, like, the rest of the world is, you know, everybody has their everyday life. But Taylor and the specific person, um, in Out of the Woods, you know, they were in the spotlight. 
um, everybody had their eyes on them. And I think that was brilliant how Taylor said, you know, everybody else, you know, they have normal lives. My life isn't normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's life has, you know, different aspects, but hers is, like, focused on. And probably the person she was writing about was focused on, too. Um, so I thought it was brilliant how she said, but we were in screaming color. Like, you stand out from everybody else and everybody focuses on you. On point, Taylor. The night we decided to move the furniture so we could dance, baby, like we stood a chance. Okay, I'm pretty sure, um, that is my bird, I'm very sorry. When Out of the Woods came out at midnight, um, before 1989 came out and all, I stayed up till midnight and I listened to it and, um, I was crying so hard. I was listening to it on repeat and every time I sobbed harder because, you know, we got a glimpse into what Taylor went through and I was just like, poor Taylor, you know, you know, she really cared and it just hurt me. But anyways, um, so, to move the furniture so we could dance, baby, like we stood a chance. Like, they knew it wasn't going to last, but they still tried. <laughs> Feels. Okay. Remember when we couldn't take the heat? I walked out and said, I'm setting you free, but the monsters turned out to be just trees. Okay, so this is when Taylor left the guy, um, and out of the woods, and it said, but the monsters turned out to be just trees. You know, when they said, you know, like the haters, like, she said, this relationship was, like, very criticized. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it was very criticized, and, like, you know, the monsters, like, the, you shouldn't be dating him, oh my god, why is she dating him? And then they turned out to just be people picking on them in the end to have nothing better to do than pick on my flawless idol. Okay. Um, then from all you had to do was stay. Why'd you have to go and lock me out when I let you in? I really like those lyrics because, like, um, you know, you tell everybody your secret, this one person, and then they crush you. I can relate to that. Um, yeah. And this is going to sound basic too. Haters gonna hate. Um, when Shake It Off came out, I was honestly, um, really happy about it because, like, you know, if I got bullied or I was going through a situation, I had that song, I felt the same way when Mean came out. Um, but I had another song to go to, you know, that was like, oh, you know, Taylor gets me, haters gonna hate, and faker's gonna fake, and I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it, shake it, can you imagine that on tour, I can't even, it's like I've got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be alright, I picked those because Taylor's lyrics, um, no matter what I'm going through, like today, I came from home from school upset. I turned on Taylor's actually debut album because that's how I was feeling, like the songs, like Teardrops on My Guitar was a good one. Um, like, what was the other one? Tied Together with a Smile, like some of those. And her music is just like therapy to me. Like, after I listen to it for a while, I just get really happy. I'm like, yes! this is good now, and then I just get happy, and so, um, that's why I chose that, because her music is, tells me it's going to be alright in the end, and it has for about five to six years now. Alright, I'm lightning on my feet, and that's what they don't see. I like that lyric because, you know, nobody really sees the true you unless you're good friends with them, like Alexis knows the true me, Aaron... Kendra, you know, my my close friends, they know who I truly am, and they won't judge me for it, but the others, they don't, they're blindsided by your flaws, so, and then I wish you would, you always knew how to push my buttons, you give me everything and nothing, that's so true, like, a person can give you everything you ever wanted, and then at the same time, they're like, what, like, why did you, like, ugh, yeah, I just love those lyrics. Wish you knew that I'll never forget you as long as I live. 
that describes how I feel about Taylor, um, completely. Because she was talking in some article, I forget what it was called, like, I think it was called Telegraph, it was for the UK, and she was like, I, you know, I, I want to care for my fans, like, while they still care about my name, and I'll always care about her name, she's always going to be everything to me. When I'm 50 years old, I'm going to be walking around with my little cane, well, maybe not 50, but like 80, I might have cane by then, just walking around. Be like, shake it up, shake it up. But like, seriously, like if you think about it, like, the Beatles, like, nobody's really forgotten about them. Our generation knows about them. And, you know what I'm saying? But like, Taylor is an icon. She's not going to be forgotten. At least by me. Never. Band-Aids don't fix bullet holes. You know, I love that lyric so much because it's so accurate. Um, band-aids don't fix bullet holes, like if somebody just hurt you so bad, you know, you don't want to go back, you know, you know you'll, band-aids won't fix bullet holes and neither will scars that you have, you know what I'm saying, like, scars from words people said, like, scars in your mind, where you're like, I just can't believe that the person said that to me and you can't forget it even though you talk to that person still. Did you have to ruin what was shiny, now it's all rusted? I just like um, how she said, you know, what was shiny, now it's all rusted. Like, it was new and now you are you ruined it. Thanks. Rub it in so deep, salt in the wound like you're laughing right at me. I love that lyric um, because, you know, salt in the wound hurts. Like, words hurt, like I said. <laughs> and then from, where's my cat? Hi, kitty. I don't come in my video. Um, and then Wildest Dreams, it says, um, I can see it end as it begins. You know, you can envision what it's going to be like. Say you'll remember me standing in a nice dress staring at the sunset, babe. I just like that because it gives you such, like, a visual. And fun fact, my dad actually took a picture of me, like, at the beach last summer, and I was in a dress staring at the sunset like it was like my silhouette if I can find that picture I will definitely like maybe post on my Instagram all my, all, excuse me all my social networks are down below if you guys don't know okay someday when you leave me I bet these memories follow you around you know I've been in relationships Taylor's been in relationships and you know, when you see something and you're like, well, that sucks because I just remembered that person. I remembered when we went, you know, out to dinner at this place, or he did this for me, or I did this for him, and yeah. How do you get the girl? I couldn't choose like a specific lyric because it's like a manual, and the whole song like ties together, so yeah. Clear blue water, high tide came and brought you in. I just love, like, I get such a visual when I listen to this love, honestly. Currents swept you out again. I think it's brilliant because, like, currents do sweep things out and, like, like I said, just a visual. When you're young, you just run, but you come back to what you need. You know, you, you're you running from so many things, like, oh my god, I'm not going back to him, and then you come back to what you finally need. And that doesn't mean, like, it doesn't have to be just love. Like, for me, my friends, you know, or it could even pertain to Taylor. You come back to what you need. I need Taylor. Um, they are the hunters, we are the foxes, and we run. I love those lyrics because, like, you know, they're after us. Paparazzi, we are the foxes, and we run from them. I think that's so brilliant. Mind blow. And they'll be chasing their tails trying to track us down. Um, I think that's smart, you know, because the paparazzi follows you everywhere and they're trying to track you down. And you feel like you can't get out of it. And, you know, I, I, oh my god, flawless lyrics here. And I know for you, it's always me. I just got feels. Um, Taylor tweeted my selfie with the 1989, like, like physical copy on the 2nd 
of November. This is like a bad copy before we like had the new printer. Um, but you can see, and I know for you it's always me. And I called my mom and she was like, oh, Taylor loves you. And this was before Taylor even sent me presents. It was like Taylor King, like week of 1989 release. And I was bawling my eyes out when she said that. And I was jumping up and down because she had liked my selfie and then she posted and I was like, oh my god. I and it was the first picture on there too. So she like tapped my picture first on her phone and she changed the filter. Awesome. Um, hung my head as I lost the war and the sky turned black like a perfect storm. From Clean. I love Clean. Um, sometimes I skip it to be honest, like, because I don't want to, you know, get upset. You know, because that is like. You know, everybody's had that period in their life where they're like, you know, you know, they're in doubt, and, um, so, yeah, but I love that. Hung my head as I lost the award, and the sky turned black like a perfect storm, and I also love when I was drowning, that's when I could finally breathe, like, when you were, when you were down, and, um, you know, then that's when you kind of got a relief from your situation. Water filled my lungs. I screamed so loud, but no one heard a thing. Um, you know, you're screaming so loud in your head, like, help me, oh my god, I can't get out of the situation. And no one else is around you. You put on a good smile for everybody else. Yeah, how are you doing? And inside you feel awful. Um, Wonderland, all the lyrics, honestly, it's such a visual like Alice in Wonderland theme. I love it and I hope she plays it on tour. All the lyrics are my favorite in that song. Pauses then says you're my best friend. I love that because in a relationship you know they think oh yeah you are my boyfriend and that's it. You should be best friends. Your companion. You two are dancing in a snow globe round and round. I just like I've always loved like snow globes. I think they're beautiful. So that lyric popped out to me as well. You understand now why they lost their minds and fought the wars, and why I've spent my whole life trying to put it into words. You know, you give up on love so many times and then you actually see it work. And then, I think that's exactly... you see my cat right there? What you doing? Um, I think that's exactly what Taylor meant too. Like, she saw Lena and Jack, um, finally found... La la. Finally, you know, find love after she's gone through heartbreak. She, you know, yeah. I don't know why I just did that face. Sorry. Um, I love also the ending of You're in Love when it's just like, You can hear it in the silence. Silence. You. Yeah, because um, in the Swiftness video, You're in Love means everything to me because my picture from Swiftness of me holding my card from Taylor um, was in it and <sighs> I know places and you're in love make me emotional because those like both have like memories because I know places Taylor tweeted lyrics and then you're in love with like the Swiftness video um, honey life is just a classroom <laughs> I love this lyric because, you know, in your life, and my mom loves this lyric too, you know, it's true, honey, life is just a classroom, like, you know, what happens in a classroom, you learn, you make mistakes, and you get bullied, um, and all those things happen in the real world, life does happen like that. You learn, you get up, and then... You make a good grade. I got an A on my science test two days ago, and I'm still happy about it. Sorry, that was so off topic. Um, and then, because baby, I could build a castle out of all the bricks they throw at me, you know, it's like, you know, like, you build a castle with bricks, and I just think that's so smart, like, I don't know, like, some lyrics, I'm just like, I love them, I don't know how to describe it, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys had to see that. If I'm if I sound congested and 
if I sound congested, it's because, like, outside, it's kind of still cold. We had some warm days, which I was really happy about. But, um, you know, it's kind of still flippity-floppy, so everybody in my area is like, I still have, like, the sinus thing going on, so. Um, we team up and switch sides like a record changer. You know, everybody switches sides, like, even if you're in, like, friend drama. And I think, like a record changer, you know, you have to, like, flip the sides of, like, a vinyl, and I just think that's so smart. And then, um... The last lyrics, it's poker, you can't see it in my face, but I'm about to play my ace. I just love, um, like, those lyrics that Taylor does, you know, that relates to one thing, it says another, like, it's poker, you can't see it in my face, but I'm about to play my ace, you know? Like, poker face, but it still relates to poker, I just, I love her lyrics, guys, and that was it, but I probably had too many, and you guys are probably annoyed right now. But I do love you guys, and um, all my social networks are down below. And I love you guys, and please put um, video requests below. That would be helpful. So, um, yeah. I love you guys, and my Instagram is Wildest Dreams for Swift. My Tumblr is Wildest Dreams for Swift, and my Twitter is Sparks Fly Red. And never forget, shake off those haters. Love you guys. Bye!